They work by pushing through the wind. They also feed you. And on this occasion, Tim has served us up some kind of jib board. My mouth is so dry, I'll be eating this for the next hour and 20 minutes. And despite all the help in the world, there were some very humbling moments along the way. Home and hose, boys. A tandem? Really? Stage four was much shorter. 30... So Murray, Mike, how does it work first? <laughs> well, I'm the captain and I sit on the front. Okay. Mike's my stoker and he, he sits on that's the back. Official That's the official that's term. I just sit yeah. here and drive and look at my Garmin. Because yeah. stoker being a reference to obviously yeah. trains and stoking the yeah. fire and being the engine room, right? Yeah, I just and sit here and do a, I, I do a four hour spin session on the bike, basically. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, why a tender, mate? Why? Uh, <laughs> it's just something different. It's quite social and it's enjoyable. I it, uh, got my wife out on the bike. Uh, she doesn't have the horsepower that Mike has. She's so. cute, your wife. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought in the big guns for the big ride, and uh, we're going really well. Do you trust him? Because what you do get for the tandem is incredible speed. I'm telling Murray to speed up all the time. Um, I look ahead and say the corner's not that tight, and um, I don't know the road. You got, but I just but, like hammering it. Bigger yeah. kahunas than me. Yeah. These guys, we check their Garmin's, their, their computer's on the front. 90 k's down the downhill yesterday. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're quite a team. They beat us as well yesterday, just quietly. You might have seen that at the track. That's our day. Uh, we're heading to Whanganui right now. We've got 100 plus k's on the bike, so I'm jumping on and I will see you in Whanganui in the morning. Come down and see us if you're in Whanganui. Hey, Steve.